What's going on guys? It's Dave again. We are back today with the Thermaltake Versa H18 build that I did for my buddy Matt at the end of February. And he loves to build except his CPU temperatures. They're running a little bit hotter than what he would like. So he hit me up a couple weeks ago and said that we're moving to water. And so he did with a Corsair H100i RGB Platinum. And it comes with two ML RGB fans, but he likes his HD120 fans, so he went ahead and purchased more HD120 fans. And the best thing about that is he's going to be able to do a push-pull configuration now because he wants to be able to see the RGB from the front. But to control all of that, he's going to need one more thing, and that's the Commander Pro. So let's build. The first thing I did was cut every zip tie from the first time I did the wiring and then remove the fans so that we could clean them and clean the front of the case because there was still some dust buildup. While I was cleaning the fans, Matt unboxed the radiator and got the new HD120 fans screwed on so that they would be pulling air in. Though it took me two attempts to get right, I finally mounted the front HD120 fans properly so that they would be pulling air in and I only put two screws in each and left them loose so that there would be wiggle room when it was time to get the radiator mounted. It took a little bit of time, but we were able to wiggle the radiator into the front spot without having to take the GPU out. For anyone wondering why we did not attach the front fans to the radiator before putting it in, it was not going to fit without taking out the GPU and we really did not want to do that. We removed the old AMD cooler and we cleaned off the thermal paste from the CPU and the stock paste on the AIO block, put a fresh dab of thermal grizzly on the CPU, and mounted the CPU block and pump. We plugged everything in and I gave Matt the honor of doing the power on test. Everything turned on, but we had a problem. So the build kind of took a turn when we got everything hooked up and we did the power on test, all the fans turned on, it was great, and then we started hearing a noise with the pump and it didn't really get any better. Actually kind of got a little worse and then we tried doing the tipping method and seeing if it was air and it sounded like air, but then it, it just didn't end well. So now, an hour later, we are at Micro Center because Matt had to get a new pump. The nice thing is though that uh, since I hadn't done the wiring yet and I had to clip pretty much everything I did off, uh, <laughs> After doing the build, the last build I did for Noah, uh, I had about four zip ties left. So it's actually kind of convenient that we're here to get zip ties and a pump. Well, pump then zip ties. Hopefully this one isn't bad. And uh, well, I guess it's better than nothing at all. So after losing two hours of driving to and from Micro Center, we came back, took the old radiator out, put the new one in, plugged everything back in, did another power run test, and since everything worked this time and there was no noise from the water pump, I started to get into the wiring. Wiring this case the second time around was absolutely horrible. In order to get the Commander Pro mounted, we ended up cutting the adhesive sticky pads it comes with into three sets of three and then stacked them on top of each other just so that the Commander Pro would actually sit somewhat flush. Though it took a while, I did get the wiring into a manageable state. I know some of the zip ties will get clipped again since Matt still has more upgrades planned in the future, but at last, we are done. The computer turned out to look incredible, and it's a little too much RGB for me, but Matt loves it and that's all that matters. I hope you all enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already, we'll see you in the next one.